Hi, I'm Terry Crime. I do the electronic support on the L10, M11, and M14 engines. And I do the electronic only. I'm not a certified diesel mechanic. And if you've got other issues about that, then you need to call your closest Cummins distributor. Uh, today we're talking about the injectors uh, firing. Uh, the ECM does supply naturally the firing of the injectors and what can happen out there is the power supply within the ECM will get weak and it will not fire the injectors. Uh, if you get a simple injector tester like for an L10 or M11, you want to check to see right away if the injectors are getting a signal, strong signal from the ECM. It should be a bright flashing light. And if you've got, let's say, just one cylinder that's missing that you're concerned, is it the injector or is it the ECM? First thing you do is check the output of the ECM. Now, if you got an N14, a nice little noid light comes in handy. It's got two prongs. It's just standard General Motors noid light. Um, you can normally pick them up at automotive stores. Uh, if you want a single noid light, usually you have to get a hold of like a Mac Tool or a, a one of the tool companies that drive around. Usually they can order them for you. They're about 15 bucks. If you got an advanced auto, that's where I had to get get a whole kit last week, 35 bucks, you get all six injector noid lights. But uh, yeah, that's the first thing you do. And if you can't get, you know, good power, uh, uh, nice powerful signal that the, that the injectors fire incorrectly out of the ECM, then uh, you got a problem with the ECM. So to sum it up, it takes about five minutes to determine if an ECM is bad or not. If you got good power going to the fuel solenoid and it opens it up, normally your, your input power is good. And that means that I, you can halfway assume that you're getting power to the ECM and it's correct. And uh, the next step is just to simply see what happens when you turn it turn it on and you should be getting a nice powerful signal out of the, the ECM to fire the injectors. But you're not yet out of the quagmire, okay? The cam sensor comes into play here. Now, a cam sensor can be bad and uh, it supplies the signal to the ECM that supplies the firing of the injector. So you need to take it one step further and uh, check your cam sensor and, uh, and the sensor harness. So you've got to get that signal to the ECM to fire the injectors. But uh, until you get that, you know, nice bright light coming out of the ECM, then, uh, you know, that's where you stay right with it. So there's actually three steps, you know, Check the voltage at your fuel solenoid. Check to see if you're getting a signal out of the ECM. If you're not, then you put a new uh, cam sensor on. They're usually only about 60 bucks. And uh, you check the sensor harness and or put a new sensor harness if it's eight years or more older. And now you pretty much uh, got it all together here. Uh, to determine if your ECM is bad or not. And again, you just enter it in for free checking, and uh, we don't charge anything for that. And uh, you just pay for the freight back and forth. So if you got any other questions, call me 727-787-6495. And our website is www.heavydutypowertrain, that's spelled T-R-A-I-N, dot com. And have a nice day.